Hey guys, making another video here for Fortnite on the Steam Controller. Um, I've done some new bindings on the controller from my last video. I figured some different controls would be better. Like, if you check controls, and you see a lot of people on console talking about this, if you switch to Combat Pro, it helps you build better and cycle your weapons better. Because it's all on the bumpers like that. And it changes some of the controls. So I made some changes to the configuration I had in my last video. If you remember that one. And this is what I came up with. Pro Combat Build Settings. I will sh share them later. But here's what I changed. Um, the way I switch weapons on PUBG with Y and B. Figured that wasn't helping me in the fights in this game. Because... I would have to tap Y and B while you're hopping around, switching shotguns, especially people that are doing like double pump. I could not do it with Y and B switching. I would have to adjust my aim and tap Y and B and adjust my aim, and it would be slower than people that are able to aim while switching. So I changed my controls to the way this Combat Pro has it set up for Xbox, where you switch your weapons and buildings with uh, the bumpers so same thing here switch weapons up on the bumper and down on the bumper and then I also changed my Y button since it's not switching anymore to be selecting the harvester which is very handy so you can be switching the harvester easier than having to cycle through all your items and weapons so that's there also but I have reload on X and then everything else that E does is on X also. And then B is crouch. Instead of switching weapons, it's crouch now. And then I still have entering build mode onto... It is on the A button. But if you see here, when I enter build, I also added changing the action set binding. Because I'm using a new action set for building. So I found when I was fighting, sometimes cycling through the building that you want. Like if you want stairs, sometimes trying to cycle to it, you mess up, it would lag a little bit. And what people think is better is to have bindings to go straight to them. Like the F1, F2, F3, F4 bindings. So I put them on the left touchpad here. So when you want to you know you want stairs right away. You can press A to switch to build mode, and then just right on the touch left touchpad will select stairs for you. Then there's floor on the left side, roof on the top, and wall at the bottom. Wall is usually the default with the settings I have, so I don't usually have to select that one, but it's very useful for floors and stairs as I've seen, and then roof I hardly use, but it's there too. And then everything else is the same on this action set. You see there's a combat action set and then build. So it works the same as how I was playing before. We're changing materials is on the right mouse, which is the left trigger. Oops. So you still change materials. The sensitivity on the pad is the same. You can edit by clicking in the right touchpad. Place the build is on the left mouse. Cycling is still there if in case you want to do it, but you also have this left touchpad here as well. Without the action set, I couldn't have the left touchpad selections because I had it for these for the items and the emotes in the map. But now with the extra action set, I have it for build mode. And then moving around is the same, inventory is the same, sprinting and jumping is exactly the same. And then this pressing Y will change you back to the combat action set and it will select your harvester so all these buttons will change you back to the other action set which is combat which you want to be in most of the time so I have three ways to change back if you just press X it will change you back to the combat and sometimes when the changing a couple times it doesn't work correctly if you're tapping it fast you can just press X to reload your gun and it will change you back to the combat set. The way you can easily tell when you're in build, because I have the haptics set differently, it's high on combat and medium on build. So just feeling the touchpad, if it kind of lags and doesn't switch, you can notice just by how the touchpad feels. Press X to change it back. 
So then Crouch is still on B. Q will change you back to combat also. And let's see. What else is here? Yeah, that's it. And just making these changes to the putting the weapons switching on the bumpers has helped has helped me do a lot better in this game. Like I was able to get a couple wins before on the first setup I had. But now I have 17 wins. It's been big improvement. Also I've been playing a lot, so I've gotten better at the game. But 17 wins is a lot most of those happened after I changed my controls to this combat pro style and it's much better. So I'll show you how it works in the game, how you can play. And here's an example. I have it to display the name of what set you're in, just in case you need to know. So I'm pressing the A button here. You can probably hear it even beeps on the controller when you're switching sets. So you know you're in combat or build action set. So your controls, you'll know. It will display it. You'll hear the beep or you'll just feel the difference in the pad but it's still the same sensitivity in build mode so that's the most important thing it's not going to feel slower or anything it's exactly the same and then you go back to combat once you put it away once you put build mode away it's back to the combat settings so just like that I'll jump somewhere and try and get a couple kills but after having this setup I I don't feel like I'm lacking compared to other players as much, besides if they're just better than me. Like before, I would kind of be struggling in some crazy fights. Here I can I can build fast, I can react and build really quickly in combat when before I was struggling. So I've, I've won some crazy fights that were up against people that are definitely on mouse and keyboard, and I won. So. This is easily my favorite way to play this game now with the Steam Controller. These settings are almost perfect. There will probably be something else I could figure out to change about the sensitivity or something. But right now I'm just very happy playing it this way. So it's going to be a lot of people here. Let's see if I can get a weapon and just kill somebody. Just show how good it works playing this with the controller. Please have a weapon down here. Nope, I might die immediately. There's no weapon there. Got a crossbow. Get him once. Got him. Crossbow. So, yep. Yeah. Game plays well. With the controller, it's able to crossbow kill that guy, and he missed me a lot. Now I think he's on the keyboard, so that was nice. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's go up here to look over at Tomato Town. Let's see what's up. I'm gonna put a trap here because it's usually a good place. If I can. No, I can't. Well, let's see if someone steps in this. See if I can see anyone down there. Snipe them on my crossbow. Oh, yep, yeah, there's one. Oh, I don't know how that didn't hit. Try and get some materials to be ready for a, a fight where I need to build. A lot of rocks here, which is good.
My bad. That was not a smart move. Let's see if I can kill this guy anyway. Nope. I died. Mm. That sucks. This guy was watching me. But yeah, these new settings are. I will be uploading them, and I really recommend them. Even if you like playing on the keyboard and mouse, if you have a Steam controller, try these settings out and see how fun it can be for you. Uh, I'll be uploading them with this title, Fortnite Pro Combat Slash Build Settings by Red. So if you look in the Community tab, you'll see my Fortnite Settings ones. That's the old one that I had. This new one, I promise, it's a lot better to try and win games. It's very good. And again, I'll show my in-game settings. Just so if you give it a try can have the same sensitivities if you, if you want to start there. Um, let's see. I think it's here. That's where my mouse sensitivity is. ADS is there. And scope is on 75. So all that. And then also my settings here. So hope you guys give it a try. And I'll have more gameplay that I'm showing. Hopefully if my recordings work, I've had trouble. But hopefully I can record a win for you and show that I can get a lot of kills using the Steam Controller. Thanks.